one top chef is taking on the takeaway. Bringing the battle to a street near you is TV chef and restaurateur Gino De Campo. Italian-born Gino is always on the move and splits his time between Italy and the UK. And when he's not appearing on TV, he's busy running two restaurants in London. British chippy thinks that they can cook a better fish and chips than me. Do they know that I'm Italian? I don't think so. I'm going to take on the takeaway. Gino is up against Henley's of Wivenhoe in Colchester. Fish and chips done right. David Henley has been in the business since he was 16 years old and the takeaway has scooped many awards for their food, not least a place in the Guinness Book of Records for the fastest chip. Gino will find it hard to beat these guys. Best in London and the South East, so you come to the right place. <laughs> place. Two of the takeaway's best customers are Kevin Howard and his wife Wendy. He's a postman and starts work early in the morning and she's a cleaner and finishes very late. Mostly they meet in the middle for some downtime and a nice takeaway. Bye. And at least three nights a week, that'll be cod and chips. Fish and chips? Yeah, I'll do fine. Three lots of chips and cod, please. Thank you. Bye. She does now and again very rarely make her own chips. If I'm not very, very well, rarely. I might cook. But you want to hear the moaning, honestly. <laughs> Moan, oh, I don't know why I'm bothering with this. You know, we ain't got a decent <laughs> chip. I've got to go to work in a minute. Won't yeah. even have time to cook it. Won't get there on no. time, won't get back very Won't have time early. to eat it myself. No. No, I know, I know. The rules. Gino cooks in Kevin and Wendy's kitchen. And there's three challenges. First, price. Using the same money or less, Gino has to make a similar meal to the one Kevin and Wendy order in from the takeaway. Two kilogram bag for one ninety nine. Why don't you shopping in our rooms or something? <laughs> the second challenge, speed. Takeaway or Gino? Who will be the first to get their dish over the finish line in Kevin and Wendy's house? Finally, the ultimate, the taste test. Which meal will Kevin and Wendy prefer, the takeaway or Gino's? What do you think? Is he a boring one? No, Is I think he it's something boring. exciting? Okay, well, I'm pleased that you're pleased. Gino arrives in Colchester, and he's determined to prove that his home-cooked food will better any takeaway. Hey! Hello. You must be Wendy! Yes, hello! hello. How are you? Gino. Kevin, you okay? Yeah, you're right. Teach me, come on, we have a <laughs> How things are going, guys? Everything all right? Right. Fine, right. thank well, you. Well, I know everything I need to know about your diet. I heard that you eat fish and chips three times a week. What a diet is that? <laughs> come on! And yes. you still believe that your fish and chips is the best? Yes. Definitely. English fish and chips is the best. You never tried an Italian fish and chips. Oh, we tried. Trust me, I'm the best one. Show hey, you how to do it. it. Prove it. Show me your kitchen, I got the knife, and let's do some yeah. cooking. Right. Okay, come on. Then. And it's straight to work, inspecting the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Okay. Small, like I would expect. Very clean, I have to say. Look at that. They must spend a lot of time cleaning, or perhaps no time at all cooking. He's looking for ingredients, herbs and spices to help him make the dish and save him money in the price test. Wendy uses the microwave because it's quick and easy and just shoves up something in there. It's got an egg poacher that you can use in the microwave. But uh, normally, when the eggs are finished, you'll hear the microwave go bing. But in Wendy's case, you don't. It goes bang. <laughs> it absolutely explodes. Look at that. This is a teen heaven. Eh? Gino will find Tim's um, luncheon meat, ham, but that's for Kevin's sandwiches for work. <laughs> because I always make sure I get a tin of meat each week. Free sandwiches, but I never make them. What is this? Cured ham? Do they put cured ham in a tin? That's a new one. Not in Colchester, mate. Good thing about Wendy, she'll never undercook anything. I can guarantee you she will never undercook anything. <laughs> I know what Overcook. you're going to say now. <laughs> yes. He'll need things to cook with. I'm such a good word. I don't have the utensils and the pans that I need. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use here. The last yeah. thing I bought for the kitchen was a fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a fire blanket as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Oh, finally, frying pan, self-raising flour. Okay, if it's in date, okay, maybe. We, we are sort of picky, you know. Um, if we go, <laughs> if we get a takeaway, it's got to be from a good takeaway, you know. We we do try several takeaways. 
and if they're not up to our standards, you know, we'll go somewhere else and we, we do look at things like the price, the quality and how quickly we can get our food. Ah, the fridge. A few fresh tomatoes, okay, that's good. That's a good start. I don't know what they're doing with this. What about the freezer? Any joy? Come on, look at that. Frozen, 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 frozen. Everything is frozen in here. Not for, look how much frozen stuff these people got. When the children were younger, you, you did used to make top yeah, of rose potatoes. I've forgotten them. Yeah. She's probably forgot how to make them now. <laughs> it's quickness. Yeah, you've got to peel them, haven't you? Yeah. Then you've got to parboil them. Yeah. Then you've got to stick them in. Have you? I didn't parboil them. Didn't <laughs> <I>? <laughs> well, believe it or not, after all the things and frozen food in this kitchen, the only thing I can use is these two: self-raising flour and a bit of olive oil. And the only utensils I can use is a frying pan and two saucepans. Enter Gino's partner in crime, Dean Edwards, Master Chef veteran with a passion for food. He's on hand to help Gino find some bargains in the local supermarket. Dean, my friend, we got a challenge here because I want to show them with a few money, you know, little money, you can do great results. Okay. Please, you must work it out for I'll me. I'll have to do some, uh, some pretty good shopping today, yeah, look for on. some bargains. Fantastic. Good luck. Yeah, and make sure that I'm a winner. I want to win this challenge. Okay. But I'm going to do my best for you anyway. All right. You take it easy, my friend. All right. Don't go too fast. Ciao. So, guys, Hello. what are you actually going to order tonight? Let me see. Well, we're going to have two cod. Large, okay. large, large, cod. large cod, okay. Two chips. That's cod and chips, five pounds ninety-five each. And I think we'll throw in the mushy peas. And mushy peas as well, okay. And two mushy peas at sixty-five p each. Yeah. How much is it? Everything? That comes to thirteen pounds twenty, I do believe. She's not wrong. Exactly, thirteen pounds and twenty pence. It's cheap, is it? Thirteen mm. pounds twenty. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm not worried. I'm definitely going to be dead. Right. Uh, well, just a little bit, but I got a plan in mind. <laughs> I got Dean, which is going to go shop for me, and he's going to make sure that it's going to be less than thirteen twenty. I'll guarantee you. Actually, I'm going to give him a call, and I'll guarantee it's going to happen. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Before Gino calls Dino, he has to make a shopping list. Dean has already arrived at the Howard's local supermarket. The dishes the guys are cooking today are all about the raw ingredients. So unless Gino can get some really fresh fish, he's in deep trouble. And you, Dean? Hello. Pronto? Dean? OK, Gino, how are you? I'm all set to go. Fantastic. Well, listen, you're going to have to really, really help me out here. OK, no okay. problem. OK, number one, we need to get some cod. No surprises there, then. You make sure that you smell it. Smell it? I want okay. the nice same place. Smell OK to you, Dean? Gino, they both smell absolutely spot on. Fantastic, fantastic. That's three pounds thirty-six. Okay, I think we can make it. Go, yeah, yeah, take it, take it. The next one gave me some frozen pigs. So he didn't like frozen food. And that is ninety-nine pence. That's a bargain. Pick That's it a up. bargain. That's a good there one. we go. A bargain. Looking good. Some pancetta because I'm going to do a nice pancetta with onion in peas. They're going to love that. It must be your lucky day, Gino. It's uh, it's reduced to a pound. Yes. Okay. What's next? Need an onion. An onion. Onions. It's fish and chips. Well, now once you're there. See if they got any fresh rosemary. Right, I'm gonna run right now. Probably in the bar, three, four soak of rosemary. It's 75 pence. 75 pence for rosemary. Do you want to go Listen. with the rosemary? Yeah, go for this okay. rosemary. Come on, we should be all right. Now, potatoes. Hang on there, Dean, hang on. Back to the veg section for the spuds. Two kilogram bag for yeah. 199. Why are you shopping? <laughs> You're going to have to bite the bullet, but they can use the potatoes after, can't they? Yes. Next. Limey, he certainly got Dean on the run. Steady there, Dean. Right, what's next? Can do you a small box of corn flour for 39 pence. That's a bargain. Now, can you... All this for cotton chips. You should have got yourself a pair of roller skates or something. <laughs> oh, it might be a bit quicker. Or maybe I'll bring the bike in next time. OK. We've got some Chinese five spice, £1.53. Okay. What's Gino want with five spice? Two things. I need some soda water. How much? Th 39 pence. Yeah, put it in. It's fine. I need about two litres of vegetable oil. Have we got everything? At last, he's finished. It's time to check out and, of course, ask the all-important question. OK, Gino. How much do you think you've spent? I think we spent about 12.60, 12.70.